Yo, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, and today we're going to be checking out Episode 7, of Season 3 of The Mandalorian. What up? Now, full disclosure, I am a little under the weather today, but we will persevere because this is the penultimate episode of Season 3. Now, I did see that they showed this episode to people at Star Wars Celebration. Thankfully, I didn't see any spoilers, but the overall consensus that I saw is that this episode is the best of the season. Some were saying the series, so sickness be damned. I did not want to wait to watch this episode. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these reactions. And let's get into episode seven, season three of The Mandalorian. I mean, she's got to still be working for Gideon, right? Ooh. Why is that the creepiest probe droid I've seen so far? Report. And make it quick, as I am short on time. There he is. Magistrate Cargo was aided by Mandalorians. Which Mandalorians? The Mandalorians. This cannot be. Those two factions are sworn enemies. Which is why I contact... Not anymore. Continue with your mission. I shall deal with our Mandalorians. All right, what's the rest of her mission? And where are you? Oh. That's cool armor. It show no sign of our true strength. The beginning of the First Order. They're already getting sick of this new Republic. And its rules and regulations. I guess this would, wouldn't be the First Order yet. It's the remnant of the Empire. The Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will herald in the reemergence. Name drop. And provide Commandant Hux oh. to deliver on Project Necromancer. Hux? Wait, hold on. Was that actually Hux? Our one hope for success relies upon the secrecy of his return. Oh my gosh. Perhaps it's time we look to new leadership. Interesting. It's going to turn on Thrawn. Amass countless resources and equipment which should be shared. Every time I see that dude, I think it's Uncle Fester. Three Praetorian guards. Sounds like someone is concerned about an assassination attempt. If that is Hux from the sequels, it's not the same actor. That they are preparing to retake their home world of Mandalore. He knows. A certain Mandalore would hamper our effort. Especially since they're making friends. We shall be rid of the Mandalorians once and for all. Oh, we're setting up a fight. Ooh. Wow, I'm, I can't wait to watch all of that again. There was so much going on in my head. Just the, the, the Thrawn name drops. If that was actually Hux from the First Order, there's a lot going on there, and I, I'm going to need to watch that again, but wow. Look at the markings. Ooh. Knows, my friend. Man <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> we, we found some. <laughs> She's sitting on Mama's lap. And what little they know of each other, they hate. They will if they want to survive. Oh, and they don't know that Bo has the dark saber now. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Take the children inside. That's smart, but it should be okay. Right? We just need to talk. Talk about it. Yeah. The armor is on board with it, so she'll get everybody else on board. Rondo! <laughs> <laughs> Grief was probably tense the whole time walking up to that. Uh, okay, they're good. Okay, okay. Mando! Thank you. That's not the only gift I have for you. Huh? Eh? Hey, there he is. IG-11. Okay. What? <laughs> IG-12. like him? He's got a little Anzellan driver. <laughs> they removed his memory circuit. The pilot provides cognition. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was squeezy. He's too little to operate this. No, thing. no, no, no. But let's see if he fits. Grogu's gonna. 
and Zellin just drove it in. What is happening? <laughs> Lold snug. Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. <laughs> machinery. Maybe when he's older. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? No. I think he's saying he's old enough to operate it. Yes. Grogu's talking without talking. Mm -mm. Get him out of there. No. <laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. Hey. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 He's so happy. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> He can get his own food. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh. I'm a Luron. No. Yes. Hey. Yes. <laughs> he is going to be a menace in this thing. <laughs> this isn't working for me. That would get annoying, but for the three minutes we got it, adorable. <laughs> the remaining magnetic interference has made it impossible to scan the surface from above atmosphere. And there may or may not, but definitely is a mythosaur there. I need volunteers from both tribes. At least some of them are starting to sit together. Progress. I will go. Yeah, of course we need Den. Well. Yep. Oh, you got him out of IG-11. <laughs> IG-12. I will go. I will go. They're all going to go. I will go as well. Oh, the armor will go too. Oh, yeah. She's going to need to check out the forge. It's a good group right there. Let's go to Mandalore, baby. Never get over that. That's sweet as hell. <laughs> what is that sound? It sounds like that Imperial alarm, and I've heard it multiple times. Is it somebody's theme? If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. This is going to be crazy for all of them, honestly, going back to Mandalore. Maybe some that have never been there. Secure info zone. <laughs> I can't believe that Grogu's in IG-12. I didn't see that happening at all. Let's go. I mean, we need a Mandalorian game. We just do. I know others have said it. Just give it to us. I don't know why it makes me laugh every time I see him in there. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> in the best way. There, on the horizon. What is it? Oh. Whoa. What is this? You wear the crest of the night owl. Are they Mandalorians that didn't leave? They're Mandalorian. They stayed. Is that the voice of Lady Focus and Creed? They know who she is. It is. Who is this? We knew you would not forsake us, Lady Bo-Katan. I don't recognize them. All remaining cities and Mandalorian lives were to be spared. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the Darksaber. Wow. I didn't trust him, but it was the only chance I had to save our people. Gideon, you son of a... Then he betrayed me, and we were helpless to resist the purge of Mandalore. Damn. Mandalore has always been too powerful for any enemy to defeat. When they're whole. It is always our own division that destroys us. Yep. I don't know if I can keep everyone together. It's going to be hard. It'll take time. To be honest, it means nothing to me or my people, nor does station yep. or bloodline. Just the way. Your song is not yet written. I will serve you until it is. Hell yeah, Din. I mean, honestly, as long as the armor and Bo-Katan stay on the same page, people follow them. It's eerie when it's this quiet. The enforcer moves like a wing guard when it's flanking. These primitives make up their own rules for everything. Easy. Are you gonna fight over a game of space chess? If you don't get along, why would you do anything competitive? <laughs> like, because nobody's going to give up. Nobody's going to want to lose. It 
was bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, though. Just let them get it out of their systems. <laughs> Should probably have your helmet on, bud. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, get it. Tell him, Grogu. Break it up. Love it. You didn't learn that from me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Prepare to receive rescued survivors in need of medical attention. Okay. I expect Gideon to show up at any second and ruin it. Is it going to be the... Is it going to be the Mythosaur? It's big. It's not a, not a Mythosaur. It's a something to soar. Come on, Grogu. Nice, nice. Good help. Why did this thing just wake up all of a sudden? Terrible timing. We're not far. We need to go further down. Go, go, go. Okay. Man, we are moving right along. It's nice that Grogu can like actually like walk around and keep up by himself, you know? And he can say yes or no. I still don't count that as his first word. He's just able to communicate. Jetpacks. Awesome. More? Oh. Oh, nope. Nope, nope. They're not. Gideon's here. Help! Take cover. Yep. Did he keep uh, any kind of weaponry on IG-12? Okay. So it wasn't Mandalorians that broke him out. It was just Imperials with Beskar. I mean, Beskar and Beskar. How do, how do we... Uh-oh. Never mind. I'm gonna not bring it up. Just can't do it with blasters. Unless you do it like that. Ooh. Ooh. Get a bow. Oh, man. Advance. Yes. Let's go. Okay, kid. You've got to keep up. Here we go. Let's go, Grogu. Just go. Let's go, Din. They're out. Okay. What is... Oh, no. What is this place? Oh, no. They built, like, a little Imperial base on Mandalore? So are these Mandalorians that just decided to join up with the Empire? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. I didn't notice he was out there by himself. Uh-uh. Gideon. Damn, his armor's cool, though. Disarm him. Damn, that is cool. But come on, man. Thank you for gathering the Mandalorians into one place. Oh, no. You were a talented people. This is so bad. Why don't we take your fleet off the board while we still have the element of surprise? Activate the interceptors and bomb. No, man. No. <laughs> Damn you, Gideon. Talk about making an entrance again. Jeez Louise. The purge of Mandalore will be complete. That can't happen, obviously, right? So New Republic's got to come in and help. I should have killed you when I had a chance. Yeah, should have. I believe this is the part where you return the dark saber to its rightful. Not a chance, bud. Surrender the dark saber and tell these people that this planet is mine. Not gonna do it again. This is the way. Here we go. Oh no. Paz, you've really turned a corner. You, can't, you gotta make it, buddy. Okay. Grogu. Come on, Paz. Oh, there's just probably an endless supply of them, huh? We're not leaving you behind. Damn it, dude. Damn, look at the tip. <laughs> His barrel's almost cooked. We've never seen a blaster do that, have we? 
I mean, if anybody could do it, maybe him. There we go. All right, now we can just... Oh. 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 Okay. Oh no, it goes through Beskar. Damn. Well, that sucks. And that's where we end it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All of the hype that I saw for that episode was right on. That was amazing. I know that a lot of people have been saying that some of these episodes this season haven't been moving the plot along, uh, which is kind of wild, but I mean, I, I guess I can see it, but they've done that in, that's been this whole like series. They've done that in other seasons as well. But all those are, you know, either planting seeds of something that's gonna come or growing characters. Like they're still very good episodes. I don't know, people just like to get so mad at stuff these days. But for those people, this was a whole heap and scoop of plot. That's all we got. This episode really moved. Um, I didn't think that we were going to get as far into it as we did. Like I had mentioned during it, I expected Gideon to show up earlier and kind of set up a battle. I mean, I guess that is still kind of where we ended. It's set up next week's finale fantastically. Fantastically? It's set up next week's finale really, really well. It sucks that we lost Paz in this because I had really enjoyed how his character was growing, but he had a very honorable way of going out by basically distracting Everybody really cement his legacy with his tribe. And I feel really bad for Ragnar that uh, he lost his dad, but the memory of him in the tribe is going to be very positive and he'll be lifted up from it. So but that sucks. But he was that distraction and everybody was able to escape for the moment. They're still not in a great situation. I think they only have bo ship to get back. Yeah, next week is going to be crazy. One of my favorite parts of this episode, though, was Grogu getting IG-11. That was freaking adorable. Um, he was kind of able to communicate a little bit. He only had yes or no, but that was awesome to see him. And you could tell that it made him so happy that he was able to kind of be able to keep up with his dad and like kind of communicate in a little bit of way and grab his own food. And if you would have told me to list things that I would have thought would have happened in the season, that probably wouldn't have even been on the page. But now that it's here, I love it. So I would assume that in the next episode, somebody's gonna have to come and help against Gideon, right? The, the, the Mandalorians are definitely outnumbered, uh, outgunned. So I would assume that it's gonna be the New Republic and maybe, maybe now that they have uh, introduced the ghost crew through not only um, Zeb in this show, but the rest of the crew in the Ahsoka trailer. It would be really cool to see basically, you know, Chopper, Hera, Sabine, and Zeb be part of the group of the New Republic that comes comes and helps, especially with the tie with Sabine. It would actually really make sense for her to show up in the next episode to fight off Gideon and retake Mandalore for the Mandalorians. So. That would be really cool. Yeah, that we're gonna need some kind of assistance. But it's really crazy that we only have one more episode left, one more week to wait, and then this season is done and the wait for the Ahsoka show begins. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this episode, anything I may have missed. And on your way down there, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell. You know what to do. I'll see you in the next one.